Hello, everybody. Um, this is Nancy from this overstuffed house, and I'm trying to get caught up again. I somehow messed up all the videos of these I did, so I'm doing them again. Um, this is the McCall's Needlework magazine. Such a great cross stitch on the cover. This one is from winter 1947 to 1948. And let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Botany yarns <coughs> with an ad that's for yarns, but they're talking. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, coughing right away. Got it for roller skates as well. That's interesting. But these books I think are great. They're such a great reference. Um, I had found a pile of them. This is the second one I've done though technically it should be number three if we're doing these by date so this was the winter of 1947 now did you know that in 1750 a complete set of bed furnishings in colonial needlework consisted of a canopy valances a head cloth or panel four curtains and a coverlet these of course were for a four poster bed or at that point in time would have also been a canopied bed. Um, the curtains were made to completely enclose it. The materials used were both linen and cotton, either embroidered, painted, or printed with color. Also materials made of silk or of wool. That's because, you know, your only heat was the fireplace. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's hear from the men what they like in sweaters. Because, of course, while you're playing with the Lionel trains and having fun with them, you and Dad can have matching sweaters. You know, a man has enough backbone to wear a cardigan is all right with me because that means he's got some serious confidence, especially if he buttons it up. <laughs> Sweater vests. Don't see them for men so much anymore on two needles. Now here's the instructions for some of those sweaters. Now for two needles, for those of you who are more accomplished, here are gloves you can make or whatever that is. <laughs> <coughs> what is that? I don't know what that is. I mean, I thought it was a sock, but it does two heels and it's got some kind of drawstring. I don't know what that is. I mean, they mention the scarf. They mention the gloves. When knitting socks and gloves, two needles are easier to handle. An open out view above. Okay, so that's the open out view, I guess, of a sock. News to me, because as I said, I don't know how to do this. In a dressy mood. You've got lovely hats, but they've also got the purses to match. Now, this one intrigues me. What is that made of? Where are you? Left. Here we go. This bag is very much posied up with yarn flowers and buds sitting atop the lid of a gold mesh bag. That's pretty cool if you could find the mesh to do it with. That is pretty cool. Now we have Afghans. We have great looking, I mean, these, these would be cool. These would be cool for winter. There's directions here for neckties, which aren't shown until page 24. But I mean, it's all here. If you know how to do some of this stuff, man, you could you seriously could put your stuff on Etsy with vintage pattern clothing. I mean, basically at that point, I mean, it is it is the pattern of, and for people looking for vintage clothing, if they don't know how to knit, they can't do this stuff. Fine figures on the ice. As in Norway, so in America, the star cardigan is a skater's pride. Knit in green on black, 
Bands and Stars, this one, gives it a warm glow, makes it outstanding. Well, I'm not sure about the grammar of whoever wrote that part, but it's a great picture. The sisters wear a skating outfit, aqua outfits edged with flamingo red. What a color combination. What a pity we can't see that image in color. <coughs> this one's an ad. This is an ad. Fashions are made for spinnerin yarn, knit it yourself. Can you not steal my power cord, kitten? Yeah, they're, they're underneath me. Fine styling. Have to admit, the skirt, eh, I don't know about that skirt. <laughs> and again, all the instructions. I really like this about these, is that there's so much here, and the instructions are in the magazine. You didn't have to send away for it. Take it from the Bobby Soxers. I've never seen socks like that. And again, these were the fashions in the winter of 1947 to 1948. Sack dresses can fit. Well, yeah, if you do them properly. Look at the smocking right through the middle there. That's really cool. And see the really nice use of a pleat. And I'll bet there's another one on the other side. And the pleat would be started here and then go part way down. And so that makes the dress adjustable. You just put the, the um, belt on. And the sisters skating sets. Instructions are here. Oh, when every sock was, you know, that same pattern. <laughs> Wonderized, anti-shrink, anti-matting, Fleischer's yarn. And that said Fleischer's, I almost thought it was going to say yeast. But I think the yeast is Fleischmann's. Well-dressed, wool-dressed. You know, I know a kid, well, when he was a kid, would have loved the sweater if that had been the Transformers head instead of a bulldog. I always felt bad seeing these pictures. These are meant to be cold weather stuff, and the girls are always in short skirts, and the young boys are always in shorts. <coughs> that was a very British thing. <coughs> Darn. Um, that came over here and hung around for a while, and I'm really glad that's not our the thing anymore. Minerva hooked rug yarns and accessories. I have to admit, I would not mind learning how to do that. Because then you can make some really fabulous, fabulous rugs for your own little house. Even if they're just little area ones. Baby blessings. You know, every bit of uh, things that have been in good shape that I've found that were crocheted baby stuff has sold right out of my Etsy store. Because you can't, it's getting harder to find it. Not only is it that every pattern nowadays looks alike, um, they, they don't have many variants in style with what I've seen in magazines these days. So finding some of this stuff that really does, does have a nice different style for the baby clothes, it really is cool. Um, worsted. Smart and new in worsted, outdoorsy, and dressy. Now, I think worsted is a thicker yarn. Would make a great coat. I like the coat. Oh, such great colors. You know, this is back when all these ads would have been lithographed, so they've kept all their colors. You have your directions for your battle jacket, your striped pullover, your evening sweater. Now, some of them, they only have like size 16 or size 12, 14, 16. 
if you know how to adjust it up, you might be able to figure it out. An exclusive look, with a nice little geometric. Would have been very popular again in the 80s. Here's another color page. Merry Christmas! Look at all these fun things you can make for Christmas. Let's see what they are. Um. Oh, so that's how this should be. So I've seen where you have the crocheted basket, but then nothing. You know, it's just the basket. And I never understood what it was. Well, the basket's supposed to hold these little coasters in it. Rainbow-covered wooden hanger. Nobody uses these wooden hangers anymore because the bars in our closets are too big to hold that tiny little hook. Though I think there's one or two floating around this house. Okay, I have to admit, I do kind of like this on the gloves. I don't know that I'd want it all the way up the finger, but this edging, really, really kind of cool. Little slippers and scarves. What's the elephant? Uh, the elephant is, is a purse. It's a little purse made of felt. That's pretty cool. You know, I do remember there being little, me having little purses that were made out of felt, probably by my grandmother. Another father and son team. Knitted fashions for mom. Put out by Mercer's. Leading sweater, sweater manufacturers say nothing finer than wool foam for washing woolens. The perfect wool wash. Because we all know that you do have to wash your wool. But, you know, I don't know that it's so much the soap you use, so much as it is, don't put it in a hot dryer. <coughs> Never, ever. And now it's laced. Oh, hey. I never would have thought of that. I've done that with Mom for some Renaissance costumes where you put the lacings in to tighten things up. But I never thought of it as a decorative thing. And then you have the tie to tie the coat. And they have a little detail in the back, too. I never thought of that. I do like that. So, is this whole... Oh, yeah, the whole thing is knitted in soft pearl gray. And then you add the lacings. Even the lacing cord is knitted? Huh. I'm sure they have the directions in here somewhere. Mary Lamb yarns for quality. Nice little hat and mitten set. I do like the graphics of the logo. That's really cute. Togethers, where you have, you know, one for mom and one for girl. And that the same. That's the collar on the girls. So the girls isn't quite the same as mom's. I don't know that mom has the same collar. Another color page. Grenfair Tweed. Irish Scotch Wools from Connecticut. Now we have jam sessions. Look, they're trying to start to be hip by including music. Meanwhile, I'm looking at the stove in the background. Is that all the milk you got? <laughs> what an interesting little pitcher to use for your milk. Nice skier patterns. Those are 78s, aren't they? They kind of look it. R oh, look, yeah. RCA Victor. Those are 78s she's standing there with. Now, redecorate with paint. Now, this is kind of different. I haven't seen anything that was not um, 
some kind of handcraft as far as knitting. Uh, I mean, it's supposed to be other crafts, but usually these things are all full of knitting and crocheting. These are really pretty cool. These are treasures picked up at country auctions. They've been refinished and redecorated. They are really cool. And a lot of that is toll painting. Now they talk about an article, but... Okay, so with these, there are instructions you can get from a leaflet um, on page 64. Do they actually have? Let's see if they do. 64. Homemade baby leaflet notes. Ah, see... Uh, a lot of these are the leaflet notes or when you have to send away. But still. Those are really pretty neat. I really like the design on this one. That's pretty cool. I don't know that I could paint well enough for that. S an ad for sequins. The different ways you can brighten up your life with sequins. Hats, blouses... Hair bands, belts, barrettes, color plus. Always the same pattern for the socks. I don't know why. What do we have here? We have romance, another word for hero. It's an ad, not for a romance book, but for hero standard needles. And in white, you can have all your skiing outfits in white for the winner. We have how to make 401 useful things from odds and ends. Scrap fun for everything. If you ever wanted to, like, find one of these old books and see what they actually have in them... I wouldn't mind doing that. Mary Gertrude Clack's American Lady Rugs. New and exciting designs. There are artists out there that make these rugs, and they they do have a following. Um, I inherited one, and I can't remember the artist's name, but she's out of New England, and apparently her rugs were pretty uh, sought after little hats there's pictures of my sister in hats like that but then my sister is 14 years older than I am um, felt goes a long way doesn't it felt goes to the rink makes a lovely appearance because she's ice skating dress tie on bonnet oh they're all felt but you know that's when you could get the wool felt the wool felt moves a different way. It hangs a different way. Um, a lot of the craft felt you find now is polyester fiber made, and it does not work the same way as finding wool felt. Bed jackets. Now there's, there's a bed jacket. That is screaming Mae West to me. That's a it's called Cascade of Soft Wool Lace Down. The front is the finish that gives an airy bed jack some of its special appeal. Bed jacket. Ooh, my tongue tied today. The next party. Doll up your tables. I mean, I know these things went out of style, but they give such a cool look. You know, to your to your table, to your house. Your table's asking for a change. Round ones? Check out the seashell one. That is pretty cool. Oh, look at the puppy! Look at the puppy! That is good. 
A white puppy keeps guard. This is a rug. He's crocheted in the center of a 25 and a half by 36 inch rug. They're all rugs. A shopping guide for knitters. Tells you the different types of yarns from this one particular company. Yes, I see you. You can tell it's winter. Even the ads have like ice skating or skiing involved. We have for all sports. I love the pictures, like the faces they make, some of the kids make. <laughs> It's like, what is she seeing? What is she seeing? And she just, I don't know, she, she's smiling, but how fuzzy everything is. And you've got your anklets, girls' cardigan, hood and mittens, instructions. Styled with leather. After ski boots. I would have thought them more slippers. Look, cat toy included. <laughs> Anybody that has a cat knows that no, no piece of clothing can have a ball like that on a string and you are not going to be attacked. Traditional American. Hey, polka spider web laces. We saw that in one before. Doilies from the Lily Treasure Chest of New Designs. What do you think? Uranium glass? You think that'll grow? Glow? Woolly warms for the babies. Look at the little ears. Look at the ears on that. H how? The day and age of bobby pins, because there's no way that's staying on her head. And Little Girl's World. Oh, these graphics are so adorable. These are so cute. I love the little lamb. He's so cute. The owl is a purse. So is the duck. Uh, I think the elephant might be a toy. The zebra certainly is. And the outfits for the dolls. And that puts us halfway through this edition. So we'll get, uh, I'll film the next one. And they'll both be posted today because I'm behind. <coughs> yes, yeah, still a little bit of a cough. So I hope you enjoyed this and watch for part two.